Hello guys, and today I'm going to show you how to download and install and use the Multi-MC Launcher for Minecraft. Now, you're going to want to go to fork.net slash multi-mc4 and you're going to want to download the correct version of Multi-MC for your computer. Windows, Mac, Linux. Now, this program includes a lot of really cool features. The uh, main one being that you can have multiple installations of Minecraft, which means more than one .minecraft folder. And each of these is completely customizable in a whole bunch of different ways. The coolest one being that their .jar file of your Minecraft uh, isn't edited in any way at all. You just install mods using this uh, program and they just work without changing the .jar. Uh, you can downgrade to older versions of Minecraft which is really cool. You can go all the way back to Alpha 1.0.11 and uh, you get a custom uh, window size. You can change the amount of memory that it uses. You can uh, kill Minecraft if it freezes, which is really useful sometimes during crashing. And uh, you get a custom icon and window and a whole bunch of other stuff. Now, after you've gone and downloaded you, the correct version right here, uh, you can just go ahead and launch it. There's also a source code available if you really don't trust this to uh, steal, steal your password. It doesn't at all but you can go and check that out if you don't trust me. Now you're gonna wanna go ahead and launch MultiMC after you've downloaded and installed. And this is pretty much what it looks like without these right here. And you're gonna go ahead and create a new instance. So just go up here to this little piece of paper with a star on it and add a new instance. Or if you want, you can import your existing .minecraft folder or one from the Feed the Beast launcher. Uh, I will show you how to do the config, config pack uh, in a different video. And you can also copy your instances after you've created them. I'm just gonna show, go ahead and create a new instance to show you how to do that. So you're gonna add a new instance, and after you've done that, you can change it and name it whatever you want. So just I'll title it 1.4.6 or 7. Uh, single player 2 and I'll change the version to 13 week 01a now this is a whole list of all the different Minecraft versions that are available you can also show all the old snapshots and um, multi MC nostalgia versions so this is the highest version and it goes all the way back down to 1.0.4 now, once you've done that, just create it, and you can do a whole bunch of things with these buttons over on this side. Now, you can change the icon, I'll change it to a creeper, you can copy the instance, and you can go into its settings, so you can change the window width and window height, you can log in automatically when you launch, launch the instance, which is kind of useful so you don't have to type in your username and password every time. You can also uh, change Java to use its defaults or not. You can use your own custom ones. You can also manage the saves you have, so all your worlds will show up here, and you can add, delete them, and so on. The added ones are ones that you may have downloaded from a YouTube, YouTuber's world or something. You can change the version once you've created it. So if I want to change back to, say, 1.4.5, you can go ahead and do that. And you can rename it. So I'll rename it 1.4.5 single player. Just press enter. You can also rebuild the jar if you did something to it. So that's really useful if you're importing existing .minecraft folders or worlds if they've been edited in the dot jar. Uh, a bit of news tab down here. 
Um, so you can view, view, this is the Minecraft folder if you click the view folder button. And here is, are the installed mods inside of the um, .jar. It's obviously nothing in there right now. You just head on into the Minecraft folder and it got, it's got all the normal stuff once you have, in for, have Forge installed. Now you can also edit the mods, like here's the .jar and you can add, oops, you can add Minecraft Forge right from inside the launcher. So I'll go ahead and add the mo most recent version of it for 1.4.5 and it just goes and installs. And then you can add maybe, I'll go ahead and add Optifine and go ahead and add a mod or two can go ahead and add, oops, we'll add, you can add Ray's minimap, close that, and go ahead and press play whenever you're ready to do that. It's going to go ahead and download a fresh Minecraft jar, at, well, Minecraft folder, and it's going to go ahead and show you this little console thing right here. If you don't want to, you don't have to look at it, but it can show you all the different issues you have with the uh, it loading so it can go ahead like for instance I installed a bunch of 1.6 uh, 1.4.6 mods in this installation and you got a bunch of Java errors popping up here so it's probably gonna crash my Minecraft so I'll go ahead and hide this for a second and once it crashes the error log will pop up just like normal Minecraft and if you want, you can go ahead and kill Minecraft up here. So I'll just go ahead and kill Minecraft. And it doesn't actually really damage saves at all, unless it's you haven't you've gotten to a point in the game where you've put a lot into the world. So only do this if it's necessary. Well, I'll go ahead and kill it. And that pops up again. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe really whatever makes you happy and thanks for watching guys I'll have another video for you guys sometime soon bye